But are the bureaucrats knocking yeah. you off here? I mean, this was a 16 week rental support program. You've had it extended. But my understanding is yeah. there were almost 12,000 applications and 7,000 have been deemed ineligible. What happens to those people? Yeah, well, that's what we don't know. I mean, I do know some of them because they come to me and then when I go to the bureaucracy, I get most things through. But it shouldn't be like that. I shouldn't be the one micromanaging and no. I'm always appreciative. And so but this, woman from, this but woman from Service New South Wales, Catherine Ellis, told that inquiry, the flood mm -hmm. inquiry, that applicants were given 28 days to provide documentation. I mean, do these people live in the real world? They lost their paperwork and their electronics in the floodwaters. No, and look, some of them were even told originally if you don't, uh, with business grants, if you don't uh, reply within 14 days, consider it closed. I said, that feels threatening to someone yes. who's traumatised, who's trying to get support. And I said, redesign your bloody forms. Yes. I'll redesign yes, them for you. Right. I'll bring in the primary school teachers, you know, <laughs> who right. know how to do this. And, and don't start your don't start your form with, oh, what date did you were you flood affected? Like yes. duh, you uh, know. I know. I said just tell us now. You know, so these, just tell us now, because things. I noticed the wall, our viewers are looking at that wall behind you there. Now, you've mm -hmm. shifted and you painted that and the paint's peeled because, eh? Is that yeah, it? That, the wall behind me, the paint. Yeah, yeah. and the paint peeled. Okay. Are we, there people in Lismore, where are they living? Yeah. Where Are they in tents? Are they in houses with no roofs? Look, they're in, they're in houses with no roofs or leaky roofs. They're in tents in their houses. They're in vans or cars or tents on their property. A woman came in today. She won't mind me saying I won't mention a name. She's gone to Glen Innes. That's a bit of a way away from Lismore um, because she can stay with someone for a while, but she has to keep coming backward and forward to her place. And I know someone else who's gone out of town, got a pile of kids sharing with someone, one lounge room and a bedroom, you know, with a whole pile of kids. But you know, so it's July. This was in February. Yep. How much longer is this I going know. to go on? Well, I come back to Resilience New South Wales. Oh. They look, the quicker they're wound up. Good the, on you. You know, because I really feel for the people in Sydney if they're going to be unleashed on they, them. They, they've got a budget them. of 770 million, Janelle. Why don't they give you the 770 exactly. million? Give you the 770 right. million. You'll sort things out in Lismore. Absolutely. I would sit down with the, the – I'd pull the seven mares in, you know, across the northern rivers, but in Lismore in particular where the need is huge, and I'd say, okay, what's our first priority? Let's do it. I know companies that build like small houses on your property. They can even go up and down in water. They're towable, so if anything happened, they can be moved away all of that, I would have them on the property. Guess what Resilience New South Wales did? They said they would trial putting vans on people's property. And trial. The, and, and what Fitz, trials needed? And, 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 and Fitzsimmons has got a starch shirt and, you know, the tie and whatever, and we're nine till five job, they say. Well, look, Janelle, we run out of time. Just a quick word from you to those people who in the Hawkesbury and Apean area are suffering. What mm -hmm. is your word to them? You've, you've been through all this. Look, my word is um, support each other, back each other, back your community in, put your hand out to neighbours, and if you want to, reach out to us. Good We're here you. with Good. you. Hey, this woman's my Australian of the year. She's unbelievable.